Hello, it's me, Dan Pelosi. I'm here in my beautiful backyard in Brooklyn, and today we're making grilled steak nachos with chili lamb crema. I'm so excited. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about a pound and a half of steak, and I'm gonna get it marinated in this delicious Sir Kensington's chili lamb crema everything sauce. It really is everything. The reason why I love marinating my steak for my grilled nachos in the crema is that it has everything you need in terms of flavor. It's got chilies, it's got lime, it's got all of the spices that you would want in your steak marinade in one bottle. It just doesn't get better. So I'm gonna use about a half a cup. I'm gonna give it a nice toss, make sure it's well coated. Perfect for grilled nachos. And we're also gonna toss some on top of the nachos at the end, so it's gonna be perfect. I've got my steak perfectly coated. I'm so excited to let those flavors seep in. We're gonna take an onion, cut it into some nice wedges. These are gonna get put into a nice foil pouch and they're gonna cook and get nice and smoky. And they're gonna have a nice time on the grill, but they won't be alone. We've got a few friends joining them. We've got some of these chipotle and adobo, which are gonna add a really great flavor to the onions as they cook. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to get things nice and juicy. So I'm gonna take this foil and fold it up nice and tight into a pouch. You wanna make sure that no air escapes. And perfect. So that's gonna go on the grill along with, I have two whole jalapenos. They're prepped, they're ready to go, no work here. I'm gonna take these ears of corn and give them a really good shuck. That's my favorite activity in summer. I always love the drama of the reveal. See how beautiful these are. Oh yeah, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of corn. You're gonna let these go for about 15 to 20 minutes on the grill, keep an eye on them, pull them off when you feel like they're nice and charred. Nothing better than grilled corn. And my steak is fully marinated and ready to go. If you've had it in the fridge overnight, make sure you bring it up to room temperature before you put it on the grill. You don't ever wanna grill cold meat. All right, perfect. I'm gonna let these go, the steak, for about three minutes, and then I'm gonna flip it. You can go three minutes to five minutes on each side, going from about medium to medium well. And I'm gonna give these a flip. I love using skirt steak because it cooks nice and fast. It also is the perfect thickness for nachos, so you don't have to cut it too much and you get to have a nice bite without, you know, chewing too hard. <laughs> these look gorgeous. Look at that. I'm gonna give these a few more minutes on this side. So my steak is ready. I'm gonna pull it off the grill and let it rest. You always wanna let your meat rest for a bit, let the juices, get back into the meat, and then we'll cut it and start assembling the nachos. While the meat is resting, I'm going to let the veggies keep going. Again, I like them extra charred, but you pull them off whenever they feel good. My veggies are nice and cool, and I'm going to get them all chopped up and ready for our dream grilled nachos. I'm gonna chop the jalapenos into thin pieces. Don't forget the seeds are extra spicy, so if you're not interested in those, I'm gonna show you a really easy way to chop it to get the seeds out. So that was sort of cutting it into circles. You can slice it down the middle and then take a spoon and just get rid of those seeds, but I like a little spice, so we're gonna keep it. Next thing I'm gonna do is reveal how beautiful these onions are. They've been steaming with those chipotles. They're gonna be nice and soft and cooked through. Those will cool off a little bit more. And then when I put them on the nachos, they're just gonna fall apart into pieces. And I'm actually gonna keep my corn on my tray because when I go to cut the kernels off, the tray is gonna help catch them. Otherwise they will fly all over the place, <laughs> especially when you're me and you cut and make a mess always. So this really helps and you just kind of slowly go down the cob. Gorgeous. Now, it's time 
to cut the steak. Properly rested, the juices are back in and we can cut it without it losing all of that juiciness. And then I'm just gonna cut it, let's see, I'm gonna cut it this way into thin strips. So you don't want the pieces to be too big. You can cut the steak down the center as well so that you get even smaller chunks. Now you wanna cut it against the grain. Okay, I have to have a taste of this because I'm so excited about that chili lime crema and the way that it has flavored the steak. It made it extra juicy and delicious. That's exactly what I want on my nachos. I've got a sheet pan, I've got my chips, I've got some of my Oaxaca cheese spread on the bottom here because you want to make sure that you get cheese over all of your chips. Then I'm going to do a nice layer of steak. Make sure you get any pieces broken apart if you didn't get all the way through with your knife. And then we have all these great grilled veg. So we have corn. Then I'm gonna take these onions and I'm gonna make sure that I pull them apart a bit. They sort of fall apart anyways, but get those spread across. The onions bring a nice hit of spicy and sweet to your nachos. And then we have our grilled jalapenos. I like to do those on top for color. And then to finish it off on the top, before we put it back on the grill, is a final layer of more cheese. Great, so now I'm gonna grab a little piece of foil, cover this, so that it gets extra melty. And then we're gonna toss it onto the grill and let it grill for about five to 10 minutes. Give it a peek as you go. Make sure that your cheese is melting. I love when things are extra charred, extra crispy. And so this is like a whole new take on nachos because they just get smoky and delicious. They've been on for, I like to go closer to 10 minutes. Let's see how they look. Are you ready? Oh, so good. I could not be happier. And we have the meltiest, creamiest, oh my gosh, and look how dark that got. Okay, I gotta get to the toppings. So, <laughs> we're gonna take some raw onion. I'm gonna give a little bit of crunch to the top, a little bit of that oniony flavor, sliced avocado, some cilantro, and then the last thing we're gonna drizzle all over the top is Sir Kensington's Chili Lime Crema Everything Sauce, which we already have marinated into our steak. And for extra flavor, it's going on top and it really is so creamy. And I love the way that it just drizzles right out of this bottle. It's like they knew I needed it for my nachos. <laughs> I've been known to add it onto every single chip that I eat <laughs> off of this tray. Add a few slices of lime, tuck them in to the corners for everyone to make their nachos extra limey. All right, I'm going in for a taste. I have to find the perfect piece. They're all perfect. This one looks delicious, has everything I want on it, except I have to add, as promised, some more of the chili lime crema. Okay, let's do this. Mm. There's a dance party in my mouth. The way that all the flavors come together, it's nice and smoky. The crunch mixed with the creaminess of the Sir Kensington's Chili Lime Crema is giving you all the flavors you need in one bottle to perfectly complete your nachos. I can't wait to hear you crunching from my backyard. Let's see, delicious.